about 16, 17 hours have passed since I laid the gel coat and covered it with a PVA. As you can see, my container, it's, it's fully cured. The gel coat in there is hard. Um, this is a little bit tacky because the cure without the PVA. Next step is going to be sanding. Like I said, I'm going to start out with a 220 grit and a sanding block. I'm going to fold this in half and cut it. some warm water and then wipe it with a rag since the PVA is water soluble it's easily removed now I'm going to begin sanding with 220 grit sandpaper And then for my orbital sander, I have uh, this package that contains five inch sanding paper, hook and loop. And I'm gonna be using the 220 grit sandpaper with the orbital sander for the initial sanding. This is what it looks like after going at it with 220. So now I'm going to move to 400 grit wet sand. And the close up, as you can see, the gel grit I applied is just a little bit higher than the rest of it. I'm going to have to feather it off around the edges to make it blend with the existing gel grit. I'm going to do that with 400 grit. And up. And as I had expected, I have too much material. And I had said I'd rather sand it down, have to sand it down than not have it off and have to reapply it all over again. So this is just turned out the way that, just the way I don't want it. So now it's just a matter of sanding it down and blending it in with an existing juggle. 
I started out with um, 220. I'm using 400 right now, wet sand. And this is what it looks like after 220 and 400 grit sandpaper. after sending it with 220 initially and then 400. All right, I just finished sanding it with 600. So, so far it has uh, been sanded with 220 grit, 400 grit wet sand, 600 grit wet sand. And I'm gonna move now to uh, 1000. These are fast tool. Uh, hook and loop 1000 Next, I'm going to go at it with 2,000. Grit sandpaper, wet sandpaper. All right, after sanding it, sanding it uh, wet sand with um, with 2000, I'm ready for compounding. I'm going to use uh, Chemical Guises 32 with an orange pad, hook and loop. This is a porter cable. Uh, model, um, you can see that. 74 24XP. Orange pad. Uh, a couple of squirts of water in the orange pad. I'm going to put two, three, oops, that's too much, but what I'll do is distribute it, go to the lower setting, on this which is one and need to get power In the lowest setting of one, I will distribute the compound evenly and then bring it up to speed with Clean microfiber cloth.
wipe this clean. And I can see the shine restored. I am happy the way it turned out. Now I'm gonna use the finishing compound and then wax it. So the orange pad I use, I'm gonna remove. Oops, sorry about that. I dumped the camera. And then I'm gonna use the white pad. With uh, number 36, Chemical Guys' uh, Optical Gray Cutting Polish. That's what this is called. I'm going to shake it well and I'll apply about five dots. On my pad, remember I had it in the highest speed, which is six. I want to put it back down to one so I can spread it in the slowest speed. I'm going start by spreading it like this, then putting down the orbital for the table. Buffer and we'll mm -hmm. I'm put it up to the high speed. Then with a clean rag, use the other side, I'm going to wipe it clean again. And there you have it. Now this looks pretty good to me. You want